particularly well, is it, so far? No, no, no. This isn't going well. <laughs> but don't worry, because there's still a chance you could be going to the big ball tonight. I happen to know that Prince Charming is still looking for a date tonight. All you have to do is guess who Prince Charming is, and you could be going with him. OK, you get it? <clears throat> Here is the clue. Listen up. You've been to see Prince Charming every time he's toured the UK. You send fantasy emails to your friends, supposedly <laughs> written by said Prince Charming. <laughs> and you've even told people that your son Jake is Prince Charming's love child. That's a little bit creepy. Cat, <laughs> Cat, have you any idea who tonight's Prince <laughs> Charming is? Yeah. Who? Robbie Williams. Oh! oh. Find out. Singers, get the door. Cinderella, please come with me to the middle of the floor. Two questions to ask you, Cinderella. One, please don't tell people you've had my love child. That's just really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> and number two, Cinderella, will you please come to the ball with me? I will, All yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Tonight, we've got Christmas talent with Piers Morgan and Amanda Holden and some party games with a difference. Plus a very special musical performance from this man. To the big Christmas show coming up, we've got some incredible guests. A Christmas performance from Robbie Williams. Bored. <laughs> what do you say? You can't be bored. It's Christmas. We're having a lovely time. No, no, no. You didn't let us finish, did you? Board games. All oh, right, I see. Fancy, yes. fancy playing a board game? Yeah, I do. I'd love I've one. I've got one here. I have got Simon Cowell's festive fun box. Wow, look at that. Well, sounds like it's fun for all the family, and it's got the boredability factor. Like, yeah, so, yes. Like, fancy it? Yourself. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we can't, we can't play it on right. our own. It says on the back, minimum four players. Oh, right, OK, well... If only we could find two people to play Simon Cowell's festive fun box with us. <laughs> That's handy! <laughs> it's Amanda Holden and Piers Morgan! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um, oh, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come here, go. Santa's little helpers. Thank you. There, there we you go. go. Well, welcome to Santa's Cabin. Fancy playing some party games? <laughs> it's a yes from me. <laughs> and it's a yes from me. Two yeses, we're through to the next... Oh, it's the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> but come in, come in, come with us. Let's play Simon Cowell's Festive Fun Box. Come on in. <laughs> Well, well, Amanda, I have to say, you look lovely. Thank you, darling. I wish I could say the same about you, but <laughs> that jump is a tragedy. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Christmassy. And Piers, thanks for coming, Pat. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've planned some very special games for you. Now, the oh. winner will get a very, very special prize. Have a look at the prize. Hi, Piers. Hi, Amanda. Sorry I couldn't be here tonight, but I simply couldn't be bothered. <laughs> anyway. On to tonight. Whoever wins out of the two of you is guaranteed to keep their job on Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> However, the loser is going to lose their job on Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Just to be clear, apart from being humiliated, you're going to be fired. So no Good luck. How so exciting is that? It's very exciting. Not so smug now, all your peers, Morgan. <laughs> Well, the first game we're going to play is Simon Says. Yeah, you're familiar with we this? We play that all year. Good. Yes. We, have got, <laughs> we have got you each a lovely Christmas present. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is guess what it is. OK. Simon Cowell is going to give you three clues each. Whoever guesses their present with the least number of clues is the winner of the round. You get it? 
Yes. Understand? Well, it's yeah. not that complicated. Come on, okay, get on with it. Very com it's not very complicated. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. We've done a little bit of re-gifting this year, so both of your presents are things that we have stolen from each of your houses. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Piers, you're up first. Now, before we show you your first clue, just for the audience here and the viewers at home, <laughs> here is what's inside your present. That's unnerving, isn't it? Well, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Have a look at the TV. Here's your first clue. The first clue for peers. It's something that makes you look hideous. <laughs> no, it's not a camera. It's something that gives his cool exterior a kicking. Oh, something that gives you a cool exterior. Something Any makes... ideas, Piers? I've got a very, very ugly... Photograph of Amanda on my loo wall. Is it that? Why? Right, okay. That's your guess. Okay, that's your guess for now. Okay. That's, that's your well, it's true. It is, unfortunately. Okay, that's that's your guess. All right, then let's take a look at your second clue. The things belonging to Piers we've got are a symbol of him getting older, but also clinging to his youth. <laughs> it's, not, it's not my secret Botox stash, is it? <laughs> <laughs> We do need a guess from you. We need a guess, Piers. Are you going to stick with the original yeah, stop or are you going to, to change? Funny, just guess. I have absolutely <laughs> no idea what you've got from my house no and idea. I fear now the worst. I think my career is about to end. Let's have a look at your third and final clue. Have a look okay. at this. They're the closest Piers ever comes to looking sporty. <laughs> oh, sure. Is it my, is it my football boots? Your, your football, football boots. boots. Mm. Football okay. boots. Now let's see if you're right, Piers. Open up your present and let's have a look. I can explain this. <laughs> um, I don't have to. <laughs> I can explain this. How long have we got? Piers the slippers. That Piers's girlfriend tells us that she thought he was buying them for one of his sons, but in fact he was buying them for himself. <laughs> uh, Piers' favourite. He wears them all the time at home. Apparently. It's true. I do. Wears I them love all the time at home. And uh, Celia hates them. She does. <laughs> <laughs> Hence you can't why we've got them. Can you? <laughs> so you didn't guess. Right, Amanda. It's over to you. You just got to get the clue right. Get it right. Guess correctly, and you've won the first round. Okay. Then before we begin. Just for everybody here, and you at home, here's what we've stolen from Amanda's house. <laughs> That's worrying, that, when you hear that reaction, isn't it? <laughs> that is worrying. OK, then, are you ready for your first clue? Yes. Right, Amanda, I've known you for a while now, and even though you're not a very good dancer, it's lovely to see your groove. <laughs> <laughs> So, Amanda, Amanda! Any ideas, Amanda, what Simon is talking about? No! No ideas at all? My groove? Yeah. Have you ever shown Simon your groove, Amanda? <laughs> How do you think I got the job, <laughs> So, you haven't... <laughs> Any idea at all? Any idea? You, you don't well, have unless to guess it yet. is something rude, I can't think of anything. OK, here's your second clue. Right. We're not sure where or when you got it, but I do know it's going very south now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any idea? So, Amanda, it's lovely to see your groove that appears to be going south It's now. not my cleavage. <laughs> I mean, I know my cleavage couldn't be in that yeah, box. Well, it's, uh, it's physically how, impossible how for your boobs to be in that box. How have you stolen your cleavage from your what house? What else has gone south? Well, everything, really. Yeah.